Hello, this is Marie Diaries. I'm going to try to record a tarot reading tonight. I've been um, highly anxious um, and excited to do a video, but this recording stuff is like, it's tricky, especially when you still um, a citizen, U.S. citizen that's, um, you know, working a legal job, not just a legal job, but a uh, um, you know, like a, a nine to five type of job, you know, um, the income is not as great as you want it to be, you know, so like, you know, everybody's in some buying like certain things for um, doing this social media recording, whatever, whatever you end up recording. So, I am deciding that when I get the money, I am going to invest in a um, digital camera specifically for um, recording, for videos, for YouTube or whatever. Because I think that will benefit. And then, like, after that, I'll get a, um, because I was thinking I should get the laptop first, but... I don't know what I'm, I'm. I'm undecided on what I should do, but I know I gotta. I'm gonna have to spend between for the digital camera. You gotta spend between a hundred and up, and then with the laptop, you gotta do the same. But I mean, the laptop, it don't gotta be like an app. My first one don't gotta be an Apple, a MacBook. Um, but I do want it to be kind of decent. So, yeah. Um. In the reading that I'm gonna do tonight, again, it's gonna be like a I'm gonna do a twin flame divine feminine, so it could be both. So you know, we'll just see what comes out. And I'm starting off with this tarot deck. Let's see. In the background, I just had um, a Leah four-page letter playing. I'm kind of getting into this recording stuff i just can't wait till i could um also i can't wait to move like into a new apartment not sure when that's gonna be either but what one of the when that's gonna happen either but um i need something with more room like i don't know something about the room i need more room so i just had the empress card came out that was the first card that came out. Then we got the Five of Cups. And we got the Three of Cups. So we have an Empress. You know, Divine Feminine. She's um, Five of Cups. She could be in her feelings. Three of Cups. Um... She could be talking to other friends of hers about her emotions or feelings. So they coming together. But she definitely like with the five of cups, she's in her feelings. She thinking, reminiscing, replaying with the five of cups. Then Get Along Better by Drake just came on. I'm not going to take all of this. That was a lot. So, let's do it. 
see this again. So we had those. Okay, I'm going to take those two because they fell. So we got the Eight of Swords in reverse. I mean, excuse me, not the Eight of Swords. We got the Strength card in reverse. So because she's in her feelings and she's going to friends, three, you know, a three party of friends about her emotions, her feelings, she probably could not be, she probably can not be feeling like the most strongest, you know, as far as her strength or whatever. Then the Page of Cups um, came out. So she could be like still, you know, in her feelings um about the situation with her divine feminine her divine masculine about them even being twin flames dang we got the three of strength um the three of swords in reverse so she could be coming out of um a breakup with someone possibly three eight of swords she's thinking hard about it and then we got the star in reverse so we got one two three major arcanas that just came out two upright no two, one and one upright and two in reverse in the star Even though she's in her, she's coming, um, she's been, you know, in her, coming out of the breakups and she's been thinking long and hard about it. Um, something could still be needing to be worked out about that, about the relationship between her and the divine feminine. If they really, you know, supposed to be together or if they're really twin flames. Let's take a couple more cards. got the queen of pentacles and then the seven of swords we'll do that again so even though she got all of this going on with her feelings and her emotions and feeling like she, she you know she thinking hard about it and she got to come out of the heartbreak and get over it um, she got the Queen of Pentacles and she be, could be coming into a new relationship with new money and stuff and it's going to be um, prosperity and she thinking long and hard about it, you know, um, standing her ground and what she got to say or whatever. Um, you know, not letting nobody stop her or whatever. So, let's do, ooh. I just be messing up everything sometimes. My hands be going faster than what I'm trying to do. Um, okay, so. Now I'm going to do the Kipper cards. We got Drunk Dialing playing in the background. So that dude, like, with her being in her feelings, she could be under the influence of drinking alcohol or, you know, smoking weed or whatever, wanting to call her divine masculine and tell him how she feel. I'm not taking all of these. I felt out like that was stuff. Now we got Hopeless Romantic by Tink. The other song, Drunk Darling, that was by Summer Walker. We got Journey that just came out. Great Fortune.
high honor. So after all this going on and everything and her coming into new relationship money and you know standing her ground thinking hard about it making um hard decisions she could be um journeying into some new fortune and that could be um high honor for her and then we got unexpected income so we got two cards that just came out with money of um in, uh new income which is good for the divine feminine we haven't had anything come out for the divine masculine yet but we know she and her feelings about you know a relationship or whatever we got a mature woman so she definitely being mature about the whole situation she's still learning how to love yeah Adjudication. Let's see. I feel like that can go along with the high honor. Well, not really, but... Because she's coming um, out of her feelings, her emotions, and, you know, she's going to friends for comfort and um, consulting about her emotions. You know, she's thinking longer, longer, hard about it and, you know, not going backwards. She could be getting some kind of justification judif out of it, you know. She weighing her options. You got courtship that come out. So, like I said, with the Queens of Pentacles, she could be going into a new relationship, which courtship just came out. That's definitely a good sign. Let's see if we can get like a couple more from Tipper. This reading kind of fast I'm trying to do because I, mean, I don't be knowing how long I'm going to be able to record because it would be cutting off. Um, then we got Privileged Lady. I think that's correlating with courtship because she's gonna be the privileged. Uh, excuse me, the privileged. Uh, the privileged lady. Um, you know that confirms the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress card, or you know what. Even though she could be in her feelings because she is the empress. That's the divine feminine. Um, the queen of pentacles, excuse me, actually could be, now that I'm looking at it and this all came out. It could be the other woman because, you know, this is the divine feminine. We're doing divine feminine twin flame. So she up in her feelings about what the man is going to do because got the queen of pentacles we got the empress down here we got the mature woman and the privileged lady so those are two different women two different ladies somebody is going to get a courtship it's just um depending on who that's going to be you know who the man the divine masculine really considers his twin flame like who he want to spend the rest of his days with so I feel like since we, the Empress, I'm, I would say that's the mature woman. Then the privileged lady is the Queen of Pentacles. Because they all came up the same way upright. It is going to be a courtship out of it. Because, you know, these could have came up in reverse. But nothing's came up re in reverse yet with these Kipper cards. Um... So that's why the Empress, I think she's going to be thinking longer hard about her decision of what she's going to do. Because she, you know, she in the beginning stages of her emotions. 
and then you know she she was really in her emotions but she like in the beginning of like actually deciding on what she want to do she coming out of being blindsided by being heartbroken from you know a previous relationship so with this divine feminine she's figuring out what she wants to do um yeah so I'm gonna do let's do these ones the romantic tarot See what come out out of these. Uh, do that again. We got playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. We got Trigger playing by G Janae Aiko playing right now. So I feel like she could be triggered because she in her emotions. She trying to figure out if, you know, if this is what he really want. The Empress is trying to figure out if this is what he really want. He probably not being forthcoming with her, being um, honest about what it is or whatever the situation so she, you know, she could be um, kind of undecided of what she want to do. But she's willing to make her decision because she don't want to keep staying in that same, you know, energy or whatever. Because that's why I think Journey came out. So she's willing to start a new journey if she have to, you know. And they got Great Fortune that came out and Unexpected in Income. So, she's still, like, at the same time she's going through that about her divine feminine, she's still working on her money or whatever. You got love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And I'm going to take one more. What are these? Oh, romance card. And we got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So, the Empress, she is going to get a courtship from her divine feminine, her twin flame. And since we got the three of swords in reverse, that means... The divine masculine, he's going to be making his decision. So, that's good. You know, because that soulmate clarifies the courtship and the empress. And, you know, so he could be the one that's seven of swords. You know, he's in his thinking, his 
his actions, um, thinking about his options, what he going to do. He's making up his mind or whatever. And last I'm going to do is, um, yeah, I'm going to do these. The intuition, my intuition deck that I hand made by my shrill. See what come out of these. It might be crazy what come out of these, but I like that I made this deck. I don't add it more to it. So it's a lot of cards now. It's probably like over 300, but oh well. I'm going to have to get a little um something to put these in after a while. A lot of them. Over it, we got over it playing by um Summer Walker playing right now. So missing came out. Something in the relationship could be missing. Um. Ooh, nope. We're not taking those. I'm not taking this. Why do you have to go like that? <laughs> Okay, let me try this again because it's a lot of character. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get me a, um, a digital camera. But I don't want to spend more than $200, but I'm definitely going to get one. And once I get that, I'll probably get the laptop. But I don't know. I'm like thinking maybe I should get the laptop first. Come on. They're about to just fall. I don't want to just fall like that. Okay. We got one day gang stalking. So somebody other than whoever the divine masculine is dealing with that he's deciding he's leaving alone from the three party. Because we got that coming out twice. We got the three of cups and then we had the three of swords in reverse. So they could be gang stalking. Yeah. Um he could be tall. Something could be happening for them, him and the um Empress in the summer in the summertime. Somebody could be um conspiring against them. That's not good, but hopefully they'll be able to figure that out, you know, and get through it, work it out. Keep it out of their energy and their space. Ooh, come on. I hate when I be trying to record because when I don't be recording, I be doing these shuffling these good. Now that I want to be recording, I can't do it right. We got Dangerous Mind by Meek Mill playing in the background. We got, you got the wrong, you got the wrong one. So that's what the Empress could be saying to the other females. Self-sabotage. Somebody could be trying to self-sabotage us. Sabotage, and it could be the neighbor. You got that coming out. Winter, something else could be happening in the winter time. Toxic. Somebody could be being toxic. Maybe it could be the divine feminine or one of the other part of the three third party. Unsure of how to love affection. So some someone could be kind of like unsure of. How to show love and affection. Excuse me. That sound like that could be coming from the divine masculine. Um, no. So 
maybe it's not the divine masculine after all drained out somebody could be feeling drained that's probably the um empress might be feeling like that because there's a lot going on if you got a divine masculine can't make up his mind about who you want to be it be with crushing political something could be political about it past something could be coming up about the past hardcore drugs I'm gonna do this pick out one more round of cards see what comes out We got looking for answers, successful woman, crushing, oh, we are, oops, I picked that up again by accident, I picked this one up again by political, past, dang, I don't picked up all of the cards again, hardcore drugs, <laughs> okay, somebody could be going to jail, maybe that's why we got the adjudication card came out. schizophrenia somebody could be dealing with that playing on your feelings so maybe the divine masculine is kind of playing with the empress's feelings about the whole situation the relationship sex addiction he probably has a sex addiction addiction Something could be happening in October. Bisexual. April. Poisoned. Very doubtful. So maybe somebody has not been poisoned. And no. So that may be a definite no that somebody was not um, poisoned. maybe a couple more cards from the Kipper deck see if anything else come out for this and we got imprisonment so Somebody is going to jail because that, that's confirming it with that coming out now. And then we just had that come out with the intuition deck. So somebody must going to be getting in some kind of altercation or fight. That's not good. We got child that came out. Maybe the divine feminine and the empress could be having a child. 
and we got coffin that came out so maybe something's coming to an end um you know an end of a cycle something new could be starting between like i said between the divine feminine and the which is the empress and the um the ma divine masculine and he could really be um ending relationships with anybody else that he might have been dealing with and this last card i'm gonna take is um poverty so somebody's in poverty i don't feel like that's the, the um the empress or the you know the divine feminine so maybe the divine masculine he could be dealing with some kind of poverty because he's ending this relationship and I'm gonna do this other new deck well I've had it for a while but it's like the what is it called um the goddess deck so I'm gonna do these for the divine feminine mainly for them that's what it's for but I mean what it says on there it could be for a male or female so I'm gonna just take those because how they feel just take those because Oh wait, not all of these. So I'm gonna take those four and not these ones. Let's see what we say. We got mortal mortality. And her name is Ala. We got Setnia. Setnia. Setnia cleansing. And we got Tara is protection. And Atardis, Atardis, Atardis is balance. So I probably ain't even pronounce her name right. Let's say Ala is mortality. Origin is Ibo. Queen goddess of mortality, fertility, death, and cycles. Allah is here to push you to align with your integrity. If you're in the right, she'll help you find justice. If you're walking the line, she's here as a reminder to do what is right, even if even if it's not easy. So that's Alta. Setnia. Setnia. is origin is it new going to the water to seek the answers you're looking for um leave your worries behind and be reborn through commun communion with water goddess of the sea sydney is with you in the cleansing waters to help you grow so that's sydney tara is say goddess um our origin is hindu and goddess of compassion and protection tara is watching over you and protecting you strongest of the goddess forms green tara, uh, green tara protects you from negative energy feel her presence in your intuition it's keeping you safe and helping you grow and last but not least we got a tardis at I'm not pronouncing that right. I know I'm not. We got and I Sierra playing in the background. The last one, a Tardis um origins is some some Rainian. The first known mermaid in record history. At Tardis. Artate, I'm a, okay, now I'm going to say Artagius. Yes. I think that's how you say that now. Artagius is guiding you to look for balance in your time, your environment, and within yourself. As a teacher, 
Artagius asks you to seek new ways to bring more balance and care into your life. So that's how I'm going to finish off this reading. Because I didn't know it was going to be this long. But it's not too long. I'm surprised it's still recording. That's good. A sign. <laughs> um, and I'm going to try to do another one tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you watch this till the end. Bye.